even turn cold In the streets of Philly when niggas don't even get to turn old My heart pumping to a turn gold You niggas stuck in neutral and riding like fuck it, it's a long road Shit, I'm the one, I'm like the lost soul What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we're gonna be teaching y'all how to get your random teammates to pass you the ball. The age-old question, why are they passing you the ball? We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna let y'all know the secret how to get them to pass you the ball. Now, first, above all, you must know how to score on your own. I'm talking about ISO, dribbling, it could be no dribble. You could be just be a big ass center, not know how to dribble. I have released a tutorial on how to dribble if you are a big ass center, but you just know, you just need to know how to score on your own. That's step number one, above anything else, before they even pass you the ball. Now, it all ties into this one thing right here, the secret. I'm gonna give you the sauce real quick. It's the first possession that you eat. I even touch the ball while playing with these randoms because you got to think about it they don't know you you don't know them they're randoms y'all just met no one trusts each other when they're just randoms so you got to think about it if they're giving you the ball for the first possession and you're giving it right back to them that's telling them you don't want the ball so if you want them to keep passing you the ball you got to keep having the ball and keep scoring and doing shit with it now in this first possession if you miss they're gonna think your ass, you gonna have to regain some trust for them from them throughout the game. But when you score on this first possession, this is setting the tone that you are able to handle the ball on your own. They're gonna keep giving you the ball. Now y'all can see these are randoms right here. I just hopped on a spot with these dudes. I don't know who they are. This is the first possession of the game. Pass him the ball. I get the ball. So you already know what I gotta do with it. I gotta score to assert my dominance you feel me this is what all of it is about look get some boosty ass animation still make the shit that's only helping me but look get a rebound next possession i got the ball i have to score look there's people running around if i give them the ball they're, they're just gonna do the same shit so i'm really gonna pass them the ball when they're wide open sounds fucked up but this is the reality of if you want the ball passed to you you have to score and show them now you can score. Look look how fast and easy that I'm scoring. If I give them the ball, chances are they're just going to take all day with it. Sounds prejudice, but if I know I can score and I don't know what they can do and me passing them the ball is putting the game on the line, then it only makes sense. But of course, if they are wide open like this, I am going to pass them the ball. You feel me? But again, the man doesn't hit it. I already know if I went up and tried some shit by myself, I would have made it. You feel me? But look, game's over, and we get a 10-piece. Now, in in that situation right there where I pass him the ball and he makes it, then I'm going to keep on giving him the ball, right? But if he misses, then I'm obviously going to expect him to miss it again. This is what I'm saying. But again, that first possession is what is going to jumpstart this. Them giving you the ball. Pay attention to this gameplay. Now, he keeps on giving me the ball. Now, in this situation right there, it's only obvious to pass to the open man, but keep on watching. He keeps on trying to give me the ball because he know he knows what I can do with it. He see me dunking. Now, he want to see me dunk some more. Look, throwing me oops and shit. But look, it's not only one game. It's not only one pass, a couple passes. He keeps on doing it. And I'm telling y'all, this will be the same shit for you. First, assert that dominance. First, possession. And then your teammates are going to show some love. Now, not everybody's the same. Some people will get jealous and actually want to hold the ball longer. And at that point, you just got to say fuck it. Because that, that's the fate. That's how they want to go out. So that's what's going to happen. But look, again, next game keeps on giving me the ball. Now, I want you to take a look at this situation right here. We give him the ball. Let's see what he can do with it now. This is most randoms. They're most likely going to turn the ball over or miss. Give it to the next dude. What's he going to do with it? Probably the same shit. Again, like I said, the first rule, you got to know how to score on your own. ISO, whatever, just on your own. Look, last two possessions with these dudes having the ball. 
turns it over, gives it to me. You feel me? It all roots to yourself and really how good you are. And once you know that you're good enough at the game to basically score in every possession and lead your team, it allows you to win games by being the leader of your team and really just capitalizing on every single possession that you get on offense every time you get the ball you should be scoring because again if they have the ball they should score with it so when they're giving you the ball that means you got to score with it and if you can't you pass the ball now y'all already know i'm a big man this is a big man channel slasher channel whatever you want to call it so me getting the ball is not really that likely in the first case so i'm really teaching y'all a hundred percent that this shit will work now me being the big man getting the ball every time is not really a sustainable offense really having a three-point shooter as your main score really is most ideal but you can still make it work and honestly the amount of ass guards on the game is making me want to make a guard so don't be surprised if y'all see me rocking one still gonna be a big man at heart though you feel me but in the meantime you already know how i'm rocking <laughs>